my research is looking at social capital in the Pakistani community and how it relates to forming health goals associated with cardiovascular disease. So heart disease is the, co is the main cause of death at a local, national and global scale and there are some ethnic disparities, some differences in terms of who is most likely to get heart disease and this is based on different ethnic minority groups and this includes individuals from the South Asian community who have a higher prevalence of getting heart disease and associated diabetes and obesity. At the moment, we have a good understanding of how cardiovascular disease is caused by numerous factors. These factors include genes, your biochemistry, your physical and mental health, and importantly, your environment. Now, your environment includes where you live, who you live with, and how you live. And these all have implications for your cardiovascular health. Healthcare practitioners and the government, including the NHS, have tried to come up with campaigns and raise awareness for these factors that are associated with cardiovascular health. And they've tried to come up with campaigns to try and promote healthy eating, diet and exercise that involves members of the community, the family and incorporated into your daily lifestyle. However, despite these healthcare initiatives, there continues to be an increase in diabetes and obesity which is related to cardiovascular disease within different ethnic minority groups, especially the South Asian community. What scientists are now trying to understand are the complex social and cultural mechanisms that underlie these lifestyle factors and choices that result in obesity, diabetes and cardiovascular health being affected negatively. Your family members, your friends and people in your community can have a big impact on your health and this is why for my research I want to look at social networks, trust and support within communities in facilitating, basically supporting the formation of health goals in relation to cardiovascular health. So how individuals that you talk to on a daily basis, people in your family, people who you speak to maybe at work or in the community, how they affect your ability to form these health goals about looking after yourself. So how they facilitate you maybe changing your diet or exercising more. And I'm trying to keep in mind the different social, cultural and religious aspects of diverse ethnic minority groups that affects our ability to make these kind of health goals because we have to keep all those things in mind when we're trying to change our lifestyle. I specifically want to look at the Pakistani community because as a community that is diverse in terms of their social, cultural and religious background, they also tend to live in socio-economically deprived areas and tend to be less exposed to healthcare messages and campaigns that are created by the government and the NHS. The Pakistani community not only has a high risk of developing diabetes and obesity, which I previously mentioned, result in cardiovascular health being affected, but they're diverse and you know they come from a background that needs more understanding, especially due to their migration status and living in a society that demands different cultures to try and understand each other. So this is why I am looking at the research questions that I have mentioned. The doctoral researchers diversity network has provided me with the opportunity to speak with other doctoral researchers from a variety of different disciplines. Because my research combines elements of social science and medical research, this is a great platform for me to talk about my ideas and share basically my thinking with other people from similar and sometimes different backgrounds.